Welcome back to the Forensic, with no S on the end, detailing channel. Some of you will be really proud, because I've been saying it wrong. I don't even know my own channel name. I've been saying it wrong for the last five years. I hope you had a wicked Christmas, guys, and New Year's. I hope you've got loads of cool detailing products. Put in the comments what products you got over Christmas, and if you like them, and what you think, and what's... Put in the comments what's hot on the detailing scene, because I might go and check it out. Um, now, I love days like this. I'm, I've swapped over cars, so this has been cleaned off, and it's been in my garage, which is really humid and full of liquid, which is another subject we'll talk about. And then I swap over to the other car, if you're new to the channel, the Black Peril, which is amazing. Look at this car. It's not clean, but it kind of looks clean, doesn't it? Kind of looks nice and shiny, but it's not it's not that clean because I've been using it in winter. Um, tires are looking good. It's got the turtle wax um, tire dressing on it. We'll talk about that. Well, I've already done a video on that, but we'll talk about that in a second. Oh, she's cooking something in there. It smells good, like a toasted cheese sandwich. She better have made me one. Before we get started, guys, and we're going to be talking about liquid waxes in a second, please hit the subscribe button and whack that bell button because that's important to the survival. My very survival on YouTube depends on it. Do not forget as well, you can come and join us on Patreon where we do cool giveaways. I'm going to be giving away probably virtually all of this lot because uh, not, not all of it, actually. I'm keeping that. And I'm, I'm going to give that away because I've got two of them. Um, what else? I'm, I might, just disclaimer, I might, there might be a few there that I might keep because they're, they're quite nifty. Um, but I'm going to do a good giveaway of loads of turtle wax stuff. Today, I want to talk about liquid paste waxes. Now, my car, this looks really nice and clean, doesn't it? Wow, look how clean it is. It's been sitting in this garage. And this garage is really humid and it's got like a layer of water that's dried on it now. And it's a bit... It needs that kind of detail. It needs that glass clean sort of to get that off. It needs a little scrub, although that's looking pretty good. It needs a little scrub over the paintwork. About 10 weeks ago, we put Rupes Uno Protect on there. And that's a three-month durability product. So we're down to the remnants now. So I want to top up my protection. And I don't want to do paint correction. So what should I use? Well, anyone who follows the channel knows that I'm a big fan of liquid paste waxes. And here's the ones that I just happen to have. You know, you might have other ones and stuff like that. And, you you know, they, they all kind of do a job. But I like the three-in-one wax. There's no way I'm getting rid of this. It's decent stuff. Good all-round product. I can do a bit of correction with it. I love this triple. I love the buff on it. If you don't work it, you know, too hard, you can almost just use it like a wax and it buffs like silk. I like the smell as well. And I don't usually talk about smells. Uh, I love this buttery wax because it's just got no abrasion. And that's the best buffing product I've ever seen. It's even better than the, the auto finesse on the buff, but no abrasives at all as far as I know. I think that's just a pure liquid wax. But I was talking about this in another video. Love it, love it. Because I can just put it on so quickly, just one light buff and it just, it's gone and the car looks amazing. Black hole is decent, really good glaze, um, but it's more a primer glaze, you know, and then you need to top it really. So I tend to use that less, but this is really nice, nice to work with as well. I'm not sure if I could get away with it on this car. You probably could. It's probably just about dark enough. You know, it's got it's quite heavily pigmented, which I don't buy. You know, I don't buy the whole pigment thing. And I've got the Built Hamber Cleanser Polish. Well, again, that's this needs to be shaken. It's frozen in, you know, it's full of wax and I can feel it's gone hard inside. Um, this is like a primer you know, that's going to fill scratches and polish the car up. And then you'd put the wax on top. So I'll use that when I can be bothered to put a paste wax on afterwards. But these paste waxes typically need to be put on by hand because they're a bit thick. Yes, I will check out the Built Hamber Hydra Wax at some point because I'm sure it's going to be very good. I also always keep these Koch abrasives. I just think Koch abrasives are high quality. These two protection abrasives, AOIs, P6 and P3, are decent. They're better as correction tools than they are protection tools. So something like the Meguiar's is the best protection tool out of all of these. It might not be the best correction tool, but it really does put a nice beading on the car for two or three months, which is great. That's why I keep this. So they're all products I really, really like. <coughs> Over here... 
is the turtle wax graphene infused to the max wax and um, that's what we're going to use in this video because I just want to use it <laughs> I want to get the graphene going what is this thing well we've done a video on it and it's a feature video like a promotion with turtle wax this one isn't a promotion this is just me using it um, you know and living with it as well because then when you live with the product you put it on your car you know if you learn a few things you have it all over your car use it again maybe next time see how your detail sprays that you use go on top of it do you get any stickiness later on when you wash do you get any compatibility issues does it help keep your car clean because it makes all these claims um to the max wax is an easy on and off liquid wax that delivers the ultimate extreme durable base gloss for a long professional performance well it's not that durable it's about three months this will outlast it, no problems. Turtle Wax Seal and Shine will outlast it. You know, and Turtle Wax probably ceramic um, spray coating will probably outlast this liquid wax. So it's not extreme durability, but I would expect it's probably got the best durability out of all of these liquid products. Maybe with the exception of the Meguiar's, I don't know. You don't know unless you test them, do you? And I can't be bothered to do that. Maybe. At one point, we'll do a liquid wax test because I've got so many. We take real graphene through a process called high pressure, high pressure exfoliation and stabilization. I could do with being put, put through that process. This produces a stable liquid dispersion of graphene atoms that are, are clear as opposed to black. So this product's not black. Um, and does not separate in our uniquely blended formula, which is interesting. Um, so the benefits, amazing depth of gloss, okay, slickness, water repellency, chemical resistance, heat dissipation for increased UV protection. Graphene seems to make that claim, doesn't it, about heat dissipation? That must be a property of it, but in practical terms, how much does that really give you? Can you even notice that? This helps keep the water and contaminants from sticking to the vehicle, resulting in a clean, protected, and easier to maintain finish. Can you really notice that? I don't know. You know, if you put it on, the next time you pressure wash your car and you cover it in snow foam, and does the dirt fall off easier because it's got a layer of, you know, a fresh layer of that graphene infused, which sounds really good. <laughs> Protection. The answer is I don't know. I don't know. Um, so we're going to carry on. Um, just before we start, if you've not, I don't know if I've said this already, I'll have to edit it out. If you've not already subscribed to our Patreon page, I give away loads of products and I'll be giving away quite a lot of this turtle wax stuff because I'm never going to get a chance to use it. I've got two of these. They sent me one ages ago before it was released with the 75 on it and then they went into production. So I'm never, it'll take me a lifetime to get through these two pots. So I might as well give it away. Uh, I might just keep a couple of them that I like. This is my little secret favourite. <laughs> um, and I've talked, I've done some video reviews on some of the other stuff. Um, this is okay. This is a decent tire shine. It's on the black car outside, like I said. It's not prolific. It's not really like massively glossy, but it does give you a fresh rubber look. It's decent enough. This is a decent enough shampoo and clay lube, um, pure shampoo. So, you know, you can use it in prep and all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't use it as a pre-wash. It doesn't have the cut, but as a shampoo, it's lovely and slippy and slidey and foamy. So fine. Uh, I might well keep end up keeping the graphene infused liquid max, wax as well because I'm a liquid wax fan, as you know. Right, we have our Flex XFE, which is a free spinner. Oh, uh, and it's on a very low speed setting, two, three. That will do. Um, what we do is we'll shake up our wax. Follow the directions for machine application. Apply four dimes. Apply in a two by two section slowly. Yeah, we're going to go a bit quicker than that. Wait two, three minutes for the product to dry and haze. And remove with a damp microfiber. Yeah, that's interesting, that is. And finish with a soft, dry microfiber. That's really interesting. And that's a, it's a bit of a pain, that. I'm going to see how, how much that disturbs me. Not, not psychologically, in terms of is it a pain to keep to have to go over it with a damp microfiber every single time? Um, the two to three minutes dry cure, no problem at all. Um, 
what do we want to do? I want to apply this really, really quickly. So let's start with our hood. And actually, just before I do, a very good little tip, because this has been in here overnight. So I'm just going to take a clean microfiber towel. Just spritz, you can put water. Literally, in fact, I am going to do water. Let's talk about, let's do what we say. Where is it? You, you, or you could use a panel wipe. Panel wipe would be fine, actually. If that would do with the panel wipe, you would just spritz a bit onto the cloth. And we are literally going to just make sure that there's no light debris that's fallen over this panel. Um, because we don't want that to be picked up in our polisher. We polish half the car, and we take the car out, reverse it back in, and then polish the other side. So just, just that slight dampness will pick up any dust. We haven't done full prep on this car. Um, it, it's contaminant free and it's been polished already, so it should be good. Right, let's bring you in. This is the important bit. Because um, I want to show you what I actually do, which we can do from a good angle here. Oh, while you're here, guys, I got some freebies. I ordered a bottle of uh, Garage Therapy uh, snow foam, which I'm going to be reviewing. And in the box came this and this. So I don't know if there's enough legs to review that, but there might be enough legs to review this if it's any good, the wheel mitt. But also I got a pre-release version of Gion Evo Synchro, which I'm a big fan of. Um, multi-layer coating system in a very nice box. We're going to figure out, we'll do a video on this, applying it probably to, uh, not my cars, because I don't use coatings, but I'll get a car. I can think of a young petrol head in the area that would love to have his car coated with Synchro. So I'll hook up with Reg and see if he'll let me put that on his BMW and we'll do a video, because that'd be cool. Um, yeah, so let's, sorry, I digress. As always, now let's put this thing down. Now you've got a lovely view there. Now let's get polishing. We're not polishing, let's get waxing. We'll stick with the rules. Although we're gonna do a bit more than two by two, we'll just pop that wax there. And I'm not doing this slowly. I'm not gonna do two to three minute sets. Uh, I'm just gonna spread it. like we've just spread that out and now we're going to leave it to cure less is more really the thinnest film you can put on there the better it'll make the buff easier let's go again do the bottom section <laughs> idiot helps if you've got the thing open so we'll just go it's very loose this it's not like a it's, I don't want to use the word watery because it's not really watery, but it's closer. It's a, it's it's thinner. That's the word than uh, the buttery wax I was using last time. Right. Make sure the not cleaning up. Right. That's the hood. Whenever I call it the hood, people go nuts. 
so I like to call it the hood. Carriage's comments. You've got to embrace the nuttiness. So that's half the hood. Now we're going to do the wing. What we do this section here is uh, just what we do with it. At this stage we have that, I didn't do the bumper, I'll do that later on. I just I can't keep doing sets, I'm gonna lose you. So we've done three, three turbo rapid applications. Uh, we're gonna leave this for two to three minutes and then buff. So I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna turn the little forensics detail and heater on to help the cure as well, because it's very cool. Okay, guys, we're back. I have a wet cloth here, nice damp cloth. So we're going to get a real good shot of exactly what this product is like to buff off the car. So let's go. <coughs> this wet thing, this wet thing's interesting, isn't it? So I suppose the, this initial wet wipe, if you like, is going to, if it's a water-based product, it's going to loosen the product a little bit. So let's just go over it there. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll leave that wing looking at what's going on under there. It's unusual, isn't it? Let's take a clean cloth. And get the four-way fold. And then just buff dry. Interesting. That's better. It's nice there. I'm just buffing a bit too hard. Yeah, that's better very humid in this garage so this that's just wetness see a bit of patch that i haven't buffed there so I really probably need to turn that heater back on it's so humid that all of the walls like there's moisture all, all down my cabinets i've got that window open to try and dry it out in here let's just flip that That's okay. There we go. What we're gonna do, I reckon the water makes it a bit more smeary because I've still got water that hasn't vaped out here. Look, that needs picking up. So this cloth's starting to get wet. Think about this wet, wet thing. Sorry, I'm just flipping the cloth. Just The camera's gonna go at it. So now I've got like a wet cloth. This one's picked up the water you get the smear from the wetness. So sometimes a dry buff is a bit nicer. So let's just go and try this without the water and see what we got. So I wanna show you a bit here. Yeah, it's kind of a bit resinous without the water. So I think you do need that water. They know the product. So let's just wipe over. I'm just gonna thin it down a bit. water on there and we use this one to get so even the footprint of this wet towel leaves water I had this problem with the when I was filming another video not too long ago it's just the nature of a cold garage full of moisture but that's buffing nice just it's got to be dry this second cloth looking nice and glossy now and you probably want to go all over your car wet buff you know once you've applied it I'd probably work two sections at a time so wax there wax there maybe wax half that roof wet buff wet buff wet buff dry buff dry buff dry buff and then when you've finished the car get one final cloth and go over and buff it um, 
But yeah, it's nice. That's what I want. And then when I take my car outside, I can do like the old Instagram, you know, the Instagram exotic shot with all the gloss because the panel is looking pretty nice and jetting good, which is what I like. I like a bit of buffing. So we'll end that one there, guys. The, the graphene infused to the max wax um, is a mid-range durability product for me that's going to get you probably, I don't know, three to six months, something like that. Quite nice to work with. And I'm looking forward to getting it all over my car and seeing if it makes it a little bit easier to clean. If it does, if, makes, if it, the dirt comes off it a little bit better, if the dirt comes off, the paintwork feels nice, then that'll be good. But yeah, interesting. We'll probably, we'll probably at some stage get a whole load of liquid waxes They'd need to, they're going to have to be non-abrasive, aren't they? They're going to have to be non-abrasive or, or it becomes like an AOI. We, we might do AOIs another time and compare them because liquid waxes are what I tend to use nowadays, as you know, if you follow the channel. Um, or sometimes I might use a spray and rinse if it's really cold. But so far this winter, I haven't used any spray and rinses. Um, I just detail my cars. Well, it's not even really detailing. It's just the way I look after my cars at the moment, especially at this time of the year, is minimal effort, really. And lots of you guys that watch the channel spend a lot longer than me and do a lot better job at making your cars really, really nice. Um, I do all right. You know, I do all right. Cause, but it's mainly through the channel. I don't think I'd be half as fussy as I am if I didn't have the channel. Um, I mean, this car... It's not detailed in here, but it's like, yeah, you can see the pedals got a little bit of dirt on them, but every now and then I just vac, I vac it so that in winter it doesn't get too much build up and I'll just wipe over with a damp cloth, um, you know, a little spritz of water on the cloth just to pick up any loose dust in here and just try and keep on top of it. But it's not detailed. <laughs> the seats have got protection on them. I tend to keep my paintwork in pretty good order. The alloy wheels on this car are a doddle. Um, I need to put some tyre dressing on here, um, which I'll do at some stage. And I definitely need to really give this glass a damn good cleaning because it's probably looks okay on camera, but it's got some filming on there now. So you can probably just see that there. You can see all the bits of filming. So it needs a bit of a scrub to get that clean. So I've got a bit of work to do, guys. And, uh, you know, I like pottering around, but I don't want to spend all day in here, so... Um, I'll probably finish off the waxing another day. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you take care of your cars. Having this garage makes a huge difference. And I know not everyone's got a garage or if you've got a single garage, you don't tend to put your car in it because it's got loads of stuff in it. So very lucky to have this double garage. Um, what do you do? Is your car outside? How do you try and keep it looking nice? Do you put a cover over it? Um, do you put it into your garage if you've got like a garage or how do you do it because um what i what the way i am at the moment is i swap them around <laughs> and then i kind of work on one and drive the other one and that kind of works quite good for me but i'm interested the easiest way is just to have one car isn't it i mean just really just clean it every week or every couple of weeks and uh, just enjoy it but i love I do love putting these waxes on there and just buffing them to a shine and then looking at the car. You know, they look great after they've been freshly buffed. I love that. So, uh, yeah. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now. Subscribe. Where was I when